intake manifold removal. So here we go. I'm going to be taking off this fuel manifold and then the actual air manifold. Just blow everything off. Just trying to move some of these uh, vacuum lines out of the way. I don't remember where anything goes. And the video is playing too fast for me to know. So you can see the left and the right there for something. That goes underneath the manifold. Pull those off the nipples. And I'm undoing all the fuel lines right now from the injectors because I'm trying to pull the center uh, fuel distributor unit. All right, took a heat gun. For some reason, I thought um, you have to take off these large vacuum hoses. I don't remember if uh, that's the correct procedure or not. Yeah, that nut was a little hard to get at, so I used the crow foot. There we go. Now I'm pulling off these, uh, all these lines and all the, 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 the large vacuum hoses, the ones that go on the intake manifold. And these guys, so you see I use a hose gripper to pull it off. Makes a little bit more room, easier to work with. Lubricating, trying to remove the nuts off the actual uh, fuel distributor unit. Taking some more of these hoses off. Now I undid the clamp that holds the, the main intake to the throttle body. So again, you have just these four little nuts. Four nuts that hold down this whole fuel thing and uh, the clamp around here. Just working it, working it. Should be loose. No, there's really nothing else holding it. It's just these guys. These guys, these little rubber isolators get seized and they pry off. So I, I was only able to save one of them, I think. From what I understand, you can buy individual pieces. Yeah, it's pretty damn cold in the garage, so use some heat to get those old rubber lines off. And I'm trying to pry this thing up. Really, it's nothing just old and friction holding it together or whatever, you know, like the rubber getting into it. And uh, I forgot to hit record, so I actually already got this loose. And uh, these things always end up sticking, ripping off. These are the isolators for this whole fuel plenum. Anyway, all you do once you have all these four bolts removed, that's all that holds it in. There's a little uh, clamp down here. Once you get rid of that, this rear part moves a little easier. You just kind of grab underneath both of these parts and yank upwards and just Pay attention for this throttle linkage and uh, these fuel lines here. So like I said, I already did pop it. it just It's just force. So that's what's holding it on. So as you can see, you know, I got this all loose. And uh, if we look down, nice and clean in the throttle body, unlike my new engine. So, yeah. There's the whole KEJ Tronic CIS fuel system, the whole intake horn. Back to pulling the actual air inlet manifold now. There's a whole bunch of these five and six mil long uh, bolts that hold it all together. This is a two part intake manifold. The upper crossover is attached to this uh, bottom collector piece that all comes out as one unit. Uh, undid all the injector hold down clips and just getting stuff out of the way. There's a hidden fastener as well that I moved out of the, the where the right side is. There's some temperature sensor. Anyway, that's all open. There you go. Completely sealed valley. Check out these valve covers. What's like going on underneath here? <laughs> Found a rocker, misplaced rocker. That was the first sign of what's about to come. 